Okay, if you chose pile number three, the heart, this reading is for you. And if this reading doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other, at the other timestamps for um, a message that resonates more for you. And of course, you can feel free to look at more than one reading if you choose. Um, it's totally up to you. But yeah, this is your reading pile number three. Let's see what we've got here. We have the Star Keeper. This is a comet cosmic ancestor seed of light by staying grounded so this is someone who's very grounded this is someone who sees you as someone who is meant to be theirs this also is someone who maybe takes a lot of time in meditating they take a lot of time at preparing themselves for certain things they are very well put together they carry themselves in a certain way um they are ready to settle down, to move forward in something that's going to create lifelong changes in their world. And we have big picture thinking. Pleiades of energy, visionary, inspired ideas. So this is someone who's very creative. This is someone who's very logical. This may be an air sign. This may be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I feel like this is a great thinker. This is someone who thinks things through, who follows in a direction that they've kind of mapped out for themselves. They, they not only follow with their mind, but they are less likely to follow just with their heart. They've really thought this situation through. They've really made sure that you are the person for them, that they're at a final decision, that you are their soulmate, you are this person, you are the one. They've took a lot of time to think about this. We have treat yourself to something beautiful today. This person may like to give you gifts. They like, they may like to bring you flowers. They may like to really lavish you with certain things that you may feel is unexpected. We have turned lemons into lessons. So definitely, this is someone who can get through a challenge very easily. They don't see obstacles or challenges in the way that other people do. They think them through as lessons, as kind of going through life and really turning lemons into lemonade, turning something that's very minute, that's very casual into something that's very special. They really kind of go the limit in certain situations. They may surprise you too. And I feel like this is someone who has had to forgive a lot in the past. Um, they may have been hurt. They may have went through a lot of heartbreak. But I feel like they are finding that it's more acceptable to forgive than to hold on to bad feelings or harsh words that may have, may have been spoken to them. I feel like they're quick to forgive. They're quick to say, you know, I understand, you know, it's okay. Um, I understand the reason why this happened. And I feel like they accept forgiveness or they, they forgive very easily. And look for a sign okay so I feel like when you meet this person if you have not met this person or if this person is already in your life I feel like you're gonna see a sign that this is the person that you're supposed to marry you're gonna see a sign that it may come through in your dreams 
uh, with this spark of lightning. It may come through your dreams that you see yourself growing old with this person or you see yourself marrying this person. You see every activity during this time. Um, but I feel like you're going to receive signs that this person is the one for you. Very interesting, pile number three. And I feel like you and this person, th this person sees you as a miracle to them. And it may be that this person, I'm really feeling like this person has been through something that maybe they weren't supposed to be here. Maybe they had some kind of event that was supposed to take them away from the earth and they were supposed to ascend into the higher being but i feel like it's a miracle that this person is here it's a miracle that this union is happening and i feel like that's how this person is seeing this event like this is something that wasn't supposed to happen they weren't supposed to be here for this Wow, okay. We have spiritual growth. Yeah, so I feel like whatever this person has been through in the past, it's made them very spiritual. They really believe in God and a higher power in the angels. They really feel like life, universe, the cosmos, this is all some kind of greater expansion. But I feel like this person is very spiritual. This, this person is tapping into some kind of spirituality that's bringing them... In an odd way, I feel like it has brought them closer to you. It's brought them closer to the situation of you and this person getting married. Their spirituality may be a reason why they feel this way. They may be very traditional. They may have certain beliefs that this is just the next step that they should take because it, they're being spiritually guided. Okay, we have Myram sacred vision and that's just what i was saying choose to forgive in order to heal see the light in all remember that love has no boundaries definitely you know i feel like this person is very very quick to forgive they don't really dwell on certain things they they don't cast a lot of judgment they are they they're able to find their own happiness that they, they don't need you or anyone else to let them know that they should be happy that um they're going on the right path they kind of feel that for themselves they feel like they're going in the right direction they that that's the reason why they're so quick to forgive they're so quick to do this because they know that that forgiveness isn't for the other person that forgiveness is for them so they're able to heal in certain situations they're able to go through life kind of unscathed by um certain events that may happen they kind of just go with the flow and just roll with the punches it's kind of how i'm feeling about this person we have Gaia, Earth Connection. So yeah, I feel like this is definitely spiritually divine. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth and stay grounded. Yeah, so I, I feel like this kind of situation is really keeping you or this person grounded. This is... I'm really feeling like this situation actually started at a long distance. I feel like you're talking to this person from another location, from maybe you live in two different states, maybe you even live in two different countries, but I feel like this person 
is going to relocate to your location or you're going to relocate to this person's location. But it's going to take you on a new journey. You're going to feel a sense of belonging. That's, yeah, a sense of belonging. This person really follows their intuition. They're, they're open to what the universe is bringing to them. Your third eye is open. See truth in what it is. Follow your intuition. Yeah, this person actually goes on their gut. They, they don't wait for an indication that it's the right time or that, um, or that they necessarily follow a certain plan. I feel like this person follows their intuition and acts upon it when it's the right time for them to do that. I like you. Okay, so and you know what? I definitely feel like this is something that you start out just kind of liking each other, but then it kind of blooms into love. It's a lot of flirting, a lot of smiling at each other, a lot of um, just looking at each other. Maybe this person is staring at you, even if they're staring at you on social media, even if they're, even if you're on some kind of video chat because you're in some kind of long distance relationship. I feel like this person, <laughs> I feel like if you're video chatting, I feel like you kind of fall asleep looking at each other. You go through these times of communicating and you just kind of lose track of time but yeah this actually starts as like I kind of like you I, I like you but I feel like it is growing into this love this is love this growing and is exactly what I'm feeling ascending so yeah th this is your love that's growing your love is expanding. You're learning about each other. You're going into this new phase. You're preparing for this union that you're going to be going through. You're getting to know each other's likes and dislikes. You're getting to know um, this person in depth. And I feel like this person may have started out as a secret admirer. And maybe they finally got the nerve to speak to you. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So definitely, that's where that light comes in. I like you. I feel like this person, you weren't aware that this person had deep feelings about you until they finally came forward with their, with their intentions, with their, their true feelings. This person started out as an admirer. They started out as a friend or just an acquaintance. But this person is turning into your soulmate. You weren't aware that this person was your soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in the spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. But yeah, I, I feel like this secret admirer has become your soulmate. They have become something that you weren't aware of. Very interesting. This person's characteristics this person is a queen of cups they could be female or male but this person is the queen of cups they they feel very deeply they show their emotions i feel like this person could play sports this person can also this person is also very secretive about their feelings i feel like you have to dig to get this person's true feelings. I feel like this person can control their feelings very well. But this person is very playful. I feel like they have a good sense of humor. And they're very active. They're very assertive. They, they may travel a lot. This person may like to travel. Or maybe they travel for their job. 
or maybe you travel and you've met this person but I, I'm, I'm really feeling like you've met this person through some kind of travel And with the Seven of Cups, I really feel like this is someone very intellectual. This is very someone who is very optimistic. They're very high on life. They kind of take these challenges and kind of defeat them one by one. They don't hold themselves back by any challenge. They kind of take it on by sport. I also feel like this could be a dreamer. This is someone who has big dreams. It's also someone who has a lot of options in life, I believe. Maybe they have an option to do several different things that seem to be very interesting. When would this event happen? We have the Page of Wands. So I believe that, you know, I, I believe that you're going to begin to know the situation, but I feel like in the beginning, you're not going to quite know where it's going. I feel like but when it starts, I feel like it's going to start quickly. It's going to come with a fire. I feel like this person is very traditional. So this person sees marriage as the end game. They see marriage as a lifelong commitment. This person is very loyal. This person has certain beliefs that they follow. And it may be the same beliefs that you have, but it may be different beliefs. This, this may be something that may be a challenge for you that this person has such different beliefs than you but I feel like this person is very loyal very caring and I feel like it's teaching you something but I feel like this person is really looking towards the long term yeah the three of cups so yeah this person is very supportive they're very caring they may also be very social they may have a lot of friends that they kind of deal with but i don't feel like they confide a lot in the friends that they have they kind of leave things very secret they're very private but they're social very interesting <clears throat> But whatever it is, I feel like this person, when this does happen, I feel like it's going to be very successful. This person is going to put you up on a high pedestal. They're going to really be very attentive to you. They may like to give you a lot of surprises, a lot of attention. They may really be attentive to the details. They may put all the focus on you. Definitely. Where are we going with the situation? We have the judgment card. So definitely, this is something. The judgment card is, is making a final decision. So with this being a final decision, I feel like this is something that's going to very be very lifelong. This is something that's going to be life-changing. This is your life's purpose. This is you going into the next phase of your life. The next phase of your life, which is going to carry on to the internal. And I, I really feel like with this judgment card, this is you being reborn into this new person, into married life. This, I believe this is going to be your, the last marriage that you have, if that makes sense. It may not be your first marriage, but this is definitely going to be your last marriage, if that makes sense. And you have the chariot card. So yeah, I definitely feel like 
this is a new journey that you're going on. You never felt love like this before. You may be moving with this person. You may be moving to a different country, moving to a different destination. You may be seeing the world with this person. But this is you with the judgment card and the chariot. This is you going on this new journey of discovery. You're going to be discovering new things with this person. This person is bringing new ideas, new experiences, maybe that you haven't experienced before. You haven't experienced a person like this before. They're, this is a new experience. And you've got the King of Cups. So definitely. This person is very supportive. They really feel a great deal. And like I said, I feel like they're able to control their emotions. So this is a person who's going to be calm, cool, collected. You may not be able to see when this person is angry or when they're frustrated because I feel like they, they kind of hold those feelings in. They don't really show a whole lot of physical emotion, although they feel things very deeply. This person may have been alone for a while. Um, this person may have been single. This may be their first marriage. Um, but I feel like they have a lot of wisdom going into this marriage. They know exactly what they want. They know exactly what they're looking for. And I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of soul searching as well. But I feel like you're growing together. You're growing into this situation. It's going to give you a lot of learning lessons. It's going to give you a lot of growth. A lot of wisdom. Um, I feel like your single friends are going to be coming to you for more advice because your marriage looks so perfect to them. This person that you've chosen or that has chosen you is like a perfect match. It's like all of your friends are seeing them as dreamy, attractive. How did you get this person? How do they love you so well? You know, I, I feel like people are going to be coming to you with questions, wanting your advice, because I feel like this person, he's not only caring or she's not only caring, um, but they're very humble. They know exactly what they want. They're very thoughtful. They ask for your opinion when they're making decisions. They really want to know what your input is. They, they want to hear everything that you are feeling. Very interesting, pile number three. See, what else do we have for this? When would this when would this precisely happen? When can we expect this to unfold? The fool. This is gonna happen with a risk that you take. You're gonna be taking a risk on the situation. Like I said, this person seems very dreamy. They seem very outgoing and kind of hmm. You're going to be worried about taking a new journey, but I feel like this is going to be a risk that you need to take in order for this to transpire. This may be come with some sort of ending. You may have some sort of ending in your life, and then this situation is going to unfold. 
It may be some time when you least expect it. I don't feel like it's far off in the future. But I feel like this is a chance you're going to have to take in love. You're going to have to be open to this new love experience. Because like I said, it starts out as a secret admirer. They like you. This is a friendship. And then you're taking a risk on this situation. And it turns into love. It turns into something very beautiful. Very giving. Very balanced. Okay, yeah. Like I said, this starts as some kind of admirer situation. This may be someone who just shoots you a DM and you start speaking with this person. This may be someone that you're talking to online. It may be someone that you're seeing from long distance. But this is going to be a spark. This is going to be a passionate new beginning. You're inspired to take a lot of action with this person. You're inspired to do new things. You're inspired to take this risk. Okay. Yeah, and it it may be coming from a time when you're very independent. But I feel like this person doesn't want to take your independence away. This person wants to be a helpmate, be a soulmate, be your counterpart. They don't want to take anything away from you. They want to add to it. They want to add to your abundance, not take your dreams, your goals, your freedom away from you. They want you to be free to be you. Okay. Okay, pile number three. This is what I have for you. If this pile resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Uh, you may want to take a look at your birth placements for guidance on your situation. Like I said, this this is the person that you will marry. This is a situation here. Okay. Now what wanted to fall out is the Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone that you're working with. This could be someone that you have to email on a regular basis. This is someone that you have to communicate with over the telephone. Um, this may be someone that you work with. And that's just the extra message. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, if, if this doesn't resonate with you, please take a look at the other timestamps, another... Um, pile may resonate more. Um, but yeah, this is your reading, pile number three. And um, if this resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And many blessings to you. Love and light until the next reading.